Hello everyone, so today I'm gonna explain to you guys how to play Minesweeper. So this is Blockerman's uh, Minesweeper, as you can see, and today I'm gonna explain how you learn it and what to do. This is a little bit of a quick explanation, I'm not gonna tell you how to win because I have not actually won once before, but I'll try to explain it as good as I can. So first of all, you're gonna see that there are these green tiles. The green tiles are the ones that are unclear, and there's 100 mines in this entire grid space. So, uh, basically, you have to look at these numbers, and they will tell you uh, how many bombs are in a uh, 9 times square. So, this is what a 9 times square looks like. And inside this little square, there's going to be a number, as you can see. One of those numbers means that inside this 9 by 9 square, there's going to be a bomb, or a so-called mine. And basically, you have to avoid stepping in those and try and put a flag over all the all of the uh, mines, well, as well as trying to figure out what are the real tiles. So, first of all, what you want to go ahead and do first is look for corners. Corners is a very helpful thing that is going to help. You. So, we can start off by this one. So, as you can see, there are these three ones. This means that there are two bombs, uh, one mine, or one mine, whatever bomb. Um, or there can be free mines. It can go all the way up to, I think, 8 or 9 maybe, I don't know, uh, depending on how many uh, uh, mines are in the space you like. So, we're gonna start here. So, as you can see, there's one mine in this little space. For example, meaning there is in this grid space, uh, there is one mine. Now, for this thing, there is only one grid space that this mine can be at. So, for example, if there's two, there can be two. But if there's only one, that means there's only one. And this one, this one, if we look at this one, this still goes with all the other bombs. This one, meaning that this is the only grid space that the bomb can be in, because it's basically like a radar in a way. Uh, but you have, but if you want to play flag, you gotta click it. Now that we clear that off, we can see that the it doesn't actually show if it's a it's it's a mine or not. So you basically just have to kind of guess but this one is the only thing that can actually activate the bomb because all these other ones this one because they can also extend over to the side which is what i'm going to show you so this one can go over here now by doing this we can say that this thing can be touching here which means that no other bombs here can touch another bomb because there is no bombs the only bomb is here if there was a bomb to be here on this grid space then it will be a 2, because that means there will be one. So, there is not one there. So you just walk over. That reveals another number. Now, let's try it with a 2. So, both of these are at a corner, when you, there are only two grid spaces they can be on. So, two flags. This means that the 2 activates both of those, and means that there is not one singular bomb here. Meaning we can step on it. And basically, that is basically how you play this game. Uh, we're gonna do one more with a free. So, as you can see, these were cleared off, which meaning that we still need one there. The only spot is here. Boom, bada bam. Which means that the free here can't be in any other spot than this one, this one, or this one. And we can't really work our way through this yet, but the only way this could become a two is if we put it one here. So, this one is now connected to all of these. Which means that there are no bombs here, no bombs here, and sometimes I can do this, which is basically it just expands, and these are auto tiles, which basically gets cleared off for you basically for free. As well as here, the only way to do it, boom. Now, this is touching three of them, and as well as the four touching you. And basically, that's all you gotta do, so... Have fun playing, and I hope this was kind of helpful, even though I kind of suck at the swing. But basically, just remember that this is the grid space it's supposed to be in, and that if one of the bombs isn't higher than the number that is already touching, because if one is here, it's going to touch this one, this one, this one, this one. So it's going to touch all of these four. So I hope you guys found that helpful, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!